calibration is to uh, compensate for panel variability and panel non-linearity. It's not to, to adjust uh, for an HDR tone curve, for example. Right. I mean, the two are closely related, but it's maths. It's not, it's not a take, a, take a measurement, then make an adjustment, that kind of thing. So it's a good lead-in to the next section, which is we're providing, um, and you're okay to do the screen again now, Robert. Um, we're providing seven parameters for uh, adjusting the HDR tone curve. Now, by default, LG has defined, and this is for the static tone mapping, not the dynamic tone mapping, by the way. Um, with, according to the metadata that's coming in, Max CLL or ma um, Mastering Display Peak, and um, we we use Max CLL if it's present and lower than Mastering Display Peak. If it's higher than Mastering Display Peak, we only use Mastering Display Peak. And if there is no metadata, then we assume 4,000 nits. Mm -hmm. just, just so you know what, what we're doing there. Mm -hmm. But LG's default is start the roll off at 70% of for a thousand, 70% of panel peak for a thousand nit content, 60% of panel peak for 4,000 nit content, and 50% of peak for 10,000 nit content. And this is new for this year. Uh, no, that's roughly the same tone curve as that what we you've used done in the past. Okay. Um, but there are some changes. I'm just going to uh, put the panel peak back to 700 nits. Um, actually, I'm going to set it to 820 because that's what this panel happens to be, we've measured it. Um, then looking at the chart here, you see three curves, and you, you, this is different from what you captured before. So these are the three default curves, 50% roll off, and you can see for this particular panel we measured 820 nits, half of 820 is 410, that's where the deviation from PQ happens for the 10,000 nit curve, and then 60% uh, and 50% for the 1,000 and 4,000. And it looks like a nice gentle roll. It is, although yes. the 10,000 nit one does have of a course. slight kink because yeah. we've chosen 50%. Amazing. But what we've given in the seven parameters, the first one is to adjust the, uh, the peak luminance. So in 2018, all of the maths in that video pipeline assumed that this panel was 700 nits. If you were brighter than 700 nits, you're okay to capture that too. Oh, good. It's this, beautiful. <laughs> by the way, this content uh, is uh, Stacy Spears content, oh which will gosh. be coming out with his new UHD HDR nice. disc sometime around March. This is his videography. Yes, yeah. that's right. On and a red camera. It's red camera. Oh, yeah. Graded by Dolby. Oh, my gosh. Um, 8K. And processed by Colorfront. Yes, it is 8K, although, of course, we're only watching 4K. That's here. why I wanted to film it, yeah. even though I'm doing it on an iPhone, it's amazingly it's, it stunning. It is spectacular. Yeah. It is, and it's so, so, the, uh, so exploits uh, your quality. So this, and the new parameter? Uh, yeah, the new parameter of peak luminance <laughs> is, uh, we are, would assume 700 nits, so if you had an 800 nit panel, you'll be tracking PQ, the shape correctly, but you'll be brighter than you should be. Um, and so if you wanted an accurate calibration, you'd have to turn the OLED light down to 700, mm. and now you'd be tra tracking PQ. Mm. But because we have that new parameter, we can, uh, the parameter here for peak luminance, we can set that and the TV will recalculate all of its tone curves so that you can track PQ without turning the brightness down. And then you get the opportunity to calibrate three, or not calibrate, wrong term, to um, specify, to specify mm -hmm. three Mm -hmm. The roll-off points for three metadata values. And you can even calibrate three different profiles. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. You can calibrate cinema, HDR, right. uh, HDR game, right. and... With, with different tone mappings. Yes. But, the, but this allows you... That's pretty cool. This allows you three different tone curves that you specify, yeah. Yeah. but you, between those tone curves, everything will be interpolated anyway. So it's not that you don't get to... If I've, if I've chosen one, four, and ten, it's not that, I, that 2,000 is, 2 nit metadata content is going to be messed up. It's going to be something between the one and four. Um, so just as an example of the 4,000 nit curve, if I change that to, say, 15%, which is around 100 nits, then we look at the chart again. Curve shape has changed. Now we track PQ up to about 150 nits, and then we deviate. This actually looks a lot more pleasing than starting your roll off higher up. Right. The, yep. the it's the way that type of content is supposed to be. Pro yes. There's no right or That's wrong answer. That's the right answer. way to come out of black. There's no right or wrong answer. This is just more power to the end yeah. user. But tell, tell me how late you're going to be here today. Uh, about 4.30. 4.30. I'm trying to come back before now, but I've got a 1 o'clock. No problem. No problem. Good to see, see you. Soon. Take care. See you guys and later. I have time. I want to see you as well. Okay, good. Nice to meet you. Thank you.